use zero manifesting processes and manifest what you want. Realize that you're already there, that it's already within you. The power has never been in the process, in the tool, in the object, in the action. The power has always been you. And when you remember who you are as the I am, when you remember that this is your reality and there's only you here, things change and manifest so quickly and effortlessly for you without you having to really do anything or anything you do is so inspired and flows through you. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliette Cleary, my manifestation coach. And if you resonate with this message, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and tap that bell icon. If you would like to work together, that information's in the description box below, as well as the link to my meditation channel. So make sure to subscribe there as well. Do you know who you are? Who you are is the I am source. God, you are everything. You are all that is. When you realize and remember who you are, you realize you never actually had to do certain things because whatever you're doing, whatever your process you're using, you're the engine of that car. The process, the tool, the action is the car but you're the engine. Without you, it doesn't go. It doesn't get you anything. It's always you. And you can choose to place your engine in that car or not. But it is always your choice. And what I mean by that is when you do a, you use a manifesting process or some tool or some action in order to get something, to get a result that you desire. If you don't believe in what you're doing, if you don't believe or know your power, you don't believe in your power. You don't remember who you are as source energy, as, as God, as all that is. The car goes nowhere. The process gets you nothing. You get no results or very small, small results because maybe you put the engine in and drive it a little bit and stop, right? It's all about your belief in yourself or in what you're doing. There is no magic process. There is no magic, just do this, just say this. They're all perfect tools that if you resonate with them and you believe in them, that that's, that's the right path for you right now, right? But it's not that the process got you anything. It's not that the action got you anything, right? It was your energy that you flowed through it. It's all only your energy in your reality. It's all you in your reality, no one else. Even to experience others, it's still your energy doing it. And you see this in people's lives where it's like, oh man, this person's getting incredible results by using this process, but I'm using it and I'm not getting those results. Because if you truly, I will tell you, if you truly believe in a process, if you're truly like, ooh, I love this process, I love this technique, it excites me, I'm gonna play with this, I'm gonna use this, and you trust in your power because you know who you are as the I am, right? You're completely empowering yourself. And so you trust that whatever you're doing is enough. If you don't know your power, you forget who you are, then nothing's enough. Got to keep doing, got to keep trying. More processes, more techniques. What am I missing? What am I doing wrong? Right? It's all about knowing who you are and trusting in yourself and whatever you do that you trust in and believe in your power, believe in that process right? Because you put your belief in it. That's what makes the car go. You put your engine on and you turn it on, you drive. That's what makes it go. You got to realize you must, you must choose to realize that everything is here. Everything's here and everything is within you. You are all that is. You are all that is experiencing itself from this one perspective, this one expression right now. But you are that power which people call God. Manifestation is not about you sitting there 
and getting things to come to you and, you know, making things manifest, it's the realization that everything's here. What do you now choose? Who are you? What's your new assumption? Who, who do you now say you are? You come to the realization that it's here, that it's you, that it's yours, because it can be no other way. The fact is you do have it all, even if you're not willing to allow yourself right now to see that, it remains a fact that you do have it all. All that is, is within you, which means all these infinite potentials, possibilities, timelines, realities, manifestations, versions of you, the past, all past timelines, future timelines, which are just here and now, that's an illusion. They're all here within you. Reality is happening within your consciousness. There's no nothing outside of you. There's nothing outside of you. This is These are all different rates of frequency, what you can experience. Like this drink bottle I'm touching, that's a different rate of frequency. If I was to raise my frequency, if I could raise my frequency high enough, I would get to a certain point where I could place my hand on this drink bottle and it would go right through the drink bottle because everything's frequency. Nothing's really solid as you think it is. Even matter, physical matter itself is just still different rates of frequency. What you're seeing outside of yourself is an illusion. What you're seeing outside of yourself is a projection, a movie screen playing the movie that's going on in here, the script that has been written by you, has been chosen maybe not consciously, but chosen by you. And all these infinite potentials, realities, versions of you, they all exist within you because you are consciousness itself and reality is happening within you. Everything's going on within you. The outside is an illusion. Therefore, you must have it all. Therefore, you must have the money. Therefore, you must have the relationship, the 100% fulfilling relationship. That means you must have the health. You must have the body. You must have the career, the experiences, the adventures, the confidence, the self-love, the self-acceptance. You must have it because it all exists within you and it can be no other way. But you as the I am who is having free will right here and now, you forget that it's you making up everything. You're making up everything right now. You're making up all the rules for yourself, apart from how act, like reality actually um, functions. You're making up all the rules for your life, for your reality experience. This is an experience that is very illusionary. Seems real, but very illusionary. It is your assumptions that are externalized. There is no reality. There's no reality. Reality doesn't exist. There is no reality. What you experience is your definition of reality, is your assumptions, your beliefs outside of you, almost wearing disguises. They look like other people. They look like situations. They're just your beliefs in disguise. It's all you. You're in one of those rooms of mirrors and you've forgotten. You have forgotten. We are all individually in our own room, like in those carnivals where it's all mirrors and you're like, everywhere is kind of like you don't know where to go, right? You just see all these different mirrors of you. But in this situation, we have forgotten we're in that room with all the mirrors, right? We're, we're forgotten that we're in this, this carnival game and all the mirrors, like all the reflections, look like different people, different situations, different circumstances, but it's in fact all you. You take off their disguises, it's all you, but really it's all your beliefs or your assumptions. That's it. Everything outside of you seems so real, so solid, so permanent, so hard to change, but it's not. It is not actually real. It's just you here and more of you externalized. So that's why it hurts when you hate on someone else or when you judge someone else because that other person is still a part of you, is still a reflection of you and part of the same consciousness. And so it hurts because you're hurting yourself. And when you hurt yourself, you hurt 
everyone else. So you're in this illusionary experience and you think that you're limited and you think that all the things that you're seeing and experiencing or have seen and experienced is what your life is. And it's not because everything else exists as well. Everything, every thought, every belief, every different identity, personality, every different version of you, different version of your life, even from the past when you made a certain choice and you went this way and a fork in the road, there's a reality where you went that way or where you stayed where you were. There are every, every manifestation, everything that you want, it's all here as well. You're looking at this little smidge, this little smidge, <laughs> right, of reality and you're like, yeah, this is what it is and this is who I am. Like what? There is infinite options for you to choose from in any moment. And knowing this, you realize I don't actually have to use any processes. I will use whatever feels good to me, but there are no rules because I'm creating the rules. I'm creating the rules. What I say goes. The reason why this thing works is because I believe it works, period. Same with in business. You know, um, you think that there's some techniques, some methods, some marketing tools, some certain things that get you the results. And but then you start to look and notice everyone's doing things differently. It's because you are the power behind the action, behind the process, behind the marketing technique, right? But you get to make it up. You get to decide, how do I want this to be for me? How do I want this to work? How do I want my life to go? How do I want my business to go? How do I want abundance to flow to me? Get creative. And once you start to remember and decide to remember and recognize, realize who you are in your unlimited multidimensional nature, you realize you can do any process. You can do anything. You can have it all because you do. This came to me the other day. You don't have a lack of money. You have a lack of awareness of the money you do have because even if you're like, okay, my bank account doesn't have money in it right now or very much money, but every option, every possibility, every potential for money exists here now as well. So you're saying, yeah, this, this is my reality, this is true, but everything else is just the same amount of truth. It's only really if you decide that that must be true for me, that's your assumption, that's your definition of this thing. But there are many truths and there are all options that you can choose from at any time. So all the money is here. All the love is here. All the relationships are here. All the abundance of any kind is here. All the health is here. The well-being, the vitality, all the ideas are here. All the personality traits you want, all the, the confidence is here. When you're saying something is missing or it's not here, that's not true. And you can correct yourself, remembering, realizing that it must be here and that it is in fact here as well, but what are you choosing and what are you deciding is your truth? Because that's what will dictate your reality and what storyline you take right here and now, your choices and your assumptions moment by moment. It's not that you're lacking anything. You don't lack anything, but you lack the awareness that you do have it already, right? Everything is yours already. Everything is here already. All you're lacking is the awareness that you have it. So you start to remember who you are and you start to remember, recognize how reality works, what it really is, realizing, remembering the multidimensional nature of reality and who you are, that everything must be here, that everything does exist here, that if you can think about it, that means it's here that all the money exists here, that all the love exists here, that all the, the health, the wealth, everything exists here now as well. And as you shift your awareness, you shift your assumption around this, you will see through manifestations what was always here, but you just didn't reveal it to yourself. Not the universe didn't give it to you. Nothing is being withheld from you that you didn't already decide to withhold from yourself. So you give it to yourself. You allow yourself to see what was always here. 
So it's really not even, oh, I'm manifesting this new thing. It's remembering that you always had it. It's remembering what is yours, remembering that you do have it. So whatever tool or process or technique or routine that you resonate with is perfect. If you resonate with it, if you believe in it, then it's perfect for you. You don't need to continue to question yourself or whatever process you're using. That's the only thing that's holding you back as you continue to question yourself. Am I doing it right? Is this enough? It's enough if you say it's enough. The only reason why something or some process or method would not be enough is because you don't feel it is enough. Someone who's consistently questioning themselves, is this right? Am I doing enough? What am I doing wrong? I need to do more. What more should I do? Will always feel like they have to do more because they haven't realized that whatever they're doing is enough. And it's the realization that changes everything. Your realization that this is enough, your realization that you're already worthy, your realization that you're already there, that it's already done, realizing it can be easier, you realizing that there's nothing that you need to do. If you don't believe in your power or know your power, then you can do all the processes in the world, take all the actions in the world and you won't see much difference in your life. So it's like, this is very, very, very simple. And usually as humans, we want to really overcomplicate everything um, because that's how we were conditioned. Like things have got to be a struggle. Things have got to be hard. It can't be that simple. I've got to put in effort. Things can't be that easy for me. If you really knew that you're the I am, that you're what people will call God, that you have all this power at your fingertips, then there's no need to try to do anything, is there? You do what feels good to you and you believe in it and you trust it. It's only because you have forgotten who you are. Otherwise, if you know you're this unstoppable, powerful force of energy, then why would you try? Why would you effort? Why would you struggle? Why would you feel like you need to suffer? Because it is a choice. And when we are trying, when we're doing a lot and like, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to be that person. I'm trying to manifest that thing. I'm trying to change. When you're trying, what you're really saying is that you're not yet ready to change. Because in any moment you can make a decision of who you now are or what's now true for you. You can decide right here and now that you're exactly who you wanna be in that you're worthy for example, you can decide instead of feeling like you're, you're unworthy, undeserving, unloved, or not good enough, and you have to go through all these processes and do all these things to realize that you're worthy, you can do that and you're free to do whatever you feel like is best for you. But it's realizing that it's actually at the end of the day a choice and whatever processes, whatever things you do, in the meantime, you're doing until you actually feel ready to be that person, to make that choice, to let go of suffering, to let go of the struggle, the inner fight, to really let go of the old version of you. When you're actually ready to change, when you're actually ready to have something new, to have something be different for you, it will be different. You will be different and the change will actually be instantaneous. The shift will be instantaneous. Even if you don't see the changes in your life instantaneously, you have shifted instantly. You have changed instantly. And it is all always about your decision. It is always your choosing, whether it's a conscious choice or an unconscious choice. You have chosen, now I'm ready. And it's realizing that at any moment you can choose to be who you wanna be. You can choose for things to be different. Sometimes we feel like we gotta to get to a point where we're so fed up with whatever it is that we then decide, okay, enough is enough. This ends here, I'm going to take an action or I'm going to be different or I'm going to be happy or I'm gonna do this or whatever it is. I'm making a new assumption, I'm done with the old thing, I'm ready for something new. Sometimes we're trying, 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 doing all these processes, doing all these methods, trying all these things, and it's just our way of using that time until we feel ready to instantly change and for things to instantly change in our lives. But you see that it's always been you, you've always been the answer. You have been in control 
you have been in the driver's seat this entire time. Sometimes unconsciously you may have put yourself in the back seat of the car and feel like it's driving you, but it has always been your choice to go into that back seat. It has always been your choice to not or to create the experience of not being in control, but it is only your energy here. So you are in perfect control and it's realizing at any time you can make the new choice. You can make, you can have something be different. You can decide that this will now change. This now is different and it will be because you decided so. And you decided it with that conviction, with that knowing, with that power of, of who you actually are as the I am. Not from need, not from desperation, not from unworthiness. And when you actually make that choice, that decision, again, whether it's unconscious or conscious, when you make that decision that you will now be different or things will now be different or you will now change, nothing can stop you because nothing was ever stopping you except you, except your own energy that maybe you were using through other circumstances or other people, but it's still you, it's still your energy, it is still your assumptions, right, that are expressing themselves outside of you. It is still simply just you creating Again, whether it's conscious or unconsciously creating illusions outside of yourself to give yourself information of, of what you're buying into, of what you're believing, of what you're assuming to be true so that you can make changes. But it's all you and it's realizing this is all in your power. It always has been. You can do whatever process you want. You can do it as often or as little as you want. There's no right or wrong. You get to literally grab a piece of paper and write down the rules of how things work for you. But if you don't believe in yourself and your power, then you won't do that or you'll do it and just not believe in it again. And that's the only reason why it wouldn't work. It's because you didn't put the power behind it. You still kind of believe that it's the people outside of you that are more powerful, the circumstances outside of you that are more powerful, the processes that are actually giving you the change, which is not true. The actions that are making things happen, no, it's you. You can simply move through your life with this remembrance and this knowing of who you are, which you can choose at any time to claim who you are, to remember who you are, to claim this power whenever you're ready to do so. But it is a choice. And when you start showing up to life, through that energy, through that power that you are as the I am with that knowing, everything that you want and need will flow to you with abundance, with, with ease and flow. Because again, if you know your power, then you don't withhold stuff from yourself. You don't feel like you need to try. Things just flow to you as they already are. Things are already flowing to you. Things are already magnetized to you. And when you come back to your core energy, which is this higher frequency state, you come back to that energy of the I am and be in your power and your joy and your passion, then you see what was always flowing, what was always here, but you weren't allowing yourself. It can be as simple as just remembering who you are and allowing things that you desire and need to just flow to you. You must realize it's here. You must realize you're already there. You know, a lot of the time, again, this is all about your awareness, your awareness of what is, your awareness of, of who you are, your awareness of what is true for you, your awareness of that the money is here, that you do have it. The awareness of the health that you do have, you just haven't been aware of it. Your realization that you've arrived is how you're gonna see that you've arrived. You're gonna see the manifestation. All you had to do was stop saying you're not there yet. Stop defining reality as the old reality that you're actually not in anymore. And start defining it, start realizing that I am there. All you need to do is stop defining this new reality as the old one. Stop defining yourself, this new, brand new, different person, right? As the old person, you're not, you're not. So you've arrived now, you're there now because everything is here now, so you're there now. It's here now, it's done now, it's yours now. You must realize that. 
You must remember who you are and you must realize what is done, what is here. Okay, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if this resonated by commenting down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, let me know by giving this a thumbs up and subscribing. If you would like to work together, that information's in the description box below for you. Have an amazing day. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.